Hello, you are watching Radiology Buzz. Today we're going to talk about two common types of disc abnormalities that we can identify on an MRI scan, bulging discs and herniated discs. Understanding the differences between these two conditions is crucial for diagnosing and treating back pain effectively. Let's break down the key differences. Bulging disc, definition. A bulging disc occurs when the outer layer of the intervertebral disc, called the annulus fibrosus, protrudes outward beyond its normal boundary. Despite this protrusion, the disc maintains its structure and the inner gel-like core, known as the nucleus pulposus, stays contained within the annulus fibrosus. Appearance on MRI, the disc appears as a generalized broad-based bulge extending symmetrically or asymmetrically around the disc's circumference, typically not more than three millimeters. Symptoms, often bulging discs are asymptomatic, but they can sometimes cause pain or other symptoms if they press on nearby nerves or the spinal cord. Herniated disc, definition. A herniated disc occurs when there is a tear in the annulus fibrosus, allowing part of the nucleus pulposus to escape and protrude into the spinal canal. This breach can result in a more significant displacement of disc material. Appearance on MRI, the disc appears as a focal, asymmetric protrusion or extrusion of the nucleus pulposus. This can often be seen as a distinct mass that may compress adjacent neural structures. Symptoms. Herniated discs are more likely to cause symptoms such as pain, numbness, or weakness due to the compression of nearby nerves. The severity of symptoms depends on the location and extent of the herniation. To summarize, while both bulging and herniated discs involve the protrusion of disc material, a bulging disc is generally a more contained and less severe condition. In contrast, a herniated disc involves a rupture that allows the inner core to escape, often resulting in more significant and symptomatic nerve.